Hello guys, so I finally started filming the videos and I'm so happy because of that and first topic will be what equipment I'm using so because lots of you have been asking me about the lenses and the camera so I want to show you uh, all equipment I'm using so let's start First, before we start, I must show you uh, the perfect stylish camera bag. I was using the black ones and I didn't like that much, so I switched to this one. And let me show you. This one is one amazing bag and I really love the color and you can put so many uh, equipment in this uh, bag. I will insert the link below for you to see. And if you want uh, the separate video about the bag, just tell me. When I open the bag, I have the camera. The camera is um, Canon 5D Mark IV and I really love this camera. I upgraded this uh, last year and before this one I was using uh, Canon 600D when I started with photography and later I uh, used Canon 5D Mark III. It's pretty similar camera, camera to this one, but this one has so much um, colors in it and the video quality is much better. So I really like this camera. And I must mention about the cameras that um, I didn't um, explore so many cameras and uh, I, I, was, I saw that so many photographers are using Canon 5D Mark III or IV or two even. And I say I would take this one because um, I see the camera as a tool to create something and with the, with the lenses and Photoshop you can create the final image. So camera is just a tool to capture the moment and later on you can um, play with the lenses and with Photoshop. It is very important. On this camera I have Sigma 35mm 1.4 Art. I love the Art series and this one is one of my favorite because I'm, I'm using this lens when I'm taking uh, fine art projects and I uh, when I need the wide angle shots. So I'm always uh, using this lens when I uh, do fine art projects and when I need the wide angle. So it is very sharp and it is uh, a perfect, perfect lens. When it comes to portrait, I love to use my favorite is uh, one 35 millimeters 2.0. This is my favorite lens for portraits because it is very sharp, like the sharpest lens I ever own. And the blurriness behind the model, it's uh, marvelous. I didn't see that much blurriness before. Even with 85 millimeters, there is not much blurriness with, not the, with this one. So I am uh, suggest to use this one. I'm using it only for portraits because when I want to take a wide, uh, the whole body shot, it is very hard because you must um, go 10 meters away from the model and then take the shots and it is very frustrating, so I'm using it only for portraits. The next one for portrait is 85 millimeters, 1.2. This is also my favorite, two of these. Uh, I don't use it very much lately because I this one is my favorite all the time. Uh, I love this lens, um, there is much, uh, sometimes I have a problem with the focus, so I must take uh, a couple of shots before I get that sharper, sharper image at the end. So I, I don't know, sometimes I use this one and sometimes I use this one, it's really, I don't know, as you prefer. So the, ne the next, next one is uh, 24, 70 millimeters, 2.8. Uh, lens. Uh, I bought this lens uh, uh, two months ago. This is the latest lens I bought and I really like this lens. I was um, asking myself should I buy it or should I, should I know and I came to this lens because I'm traveling a lot and when I travel it is very hard to uh, switch the lenses all over. I have the prime uh, wide angle lens and portrait lens and when you see some scene and you want to capture it immediately, it is very hard to switch the lens and you will lose the moment. So I, um, I bought this lens because I, can, I have all in one. I have the wide angle shots and I have the portrait shots. It, so it is perfect when you travel. And um, I read that, that you have uh, some problems 
with the focus with this lens i didn't find that about this lens because i'm using it only three months to three months so i will say if i have a focus but until uh since 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 i bought it i don't have this one is uh, 85 millimeters 1.8 i hardly and i'm not using this lens i want to sell it because I was using this lens when I started with photography and it was a very great lens uh, for beginners and for portraits. So it is very small, but it is nice, a nice lens if you're starting with photography. So this is uh, everything about the lenses and the camera. And now I want to show some additional equipment. And these are the batteries. I have one in the camera, so I have three batteries. I have remote control. This is a very interesting thing to have. With this thing, you can uh, take self portraits, or if you uh, don't, if you just want to put the camera on the tripod and then uh, have this remote control and press the button and take the shots. I bought this when I started with photography, and I ordered it online, so uh, it's still working, and it is a great thing to have, and it is not so expensive. I think about. 50 euros or something and i must mention about this beautiful purse it, it is for memory cards and whatever you want to put inside this it is from the same um, seller where i bought the bag so i will insert the link uh, below and when you open this bag you have memory cards i have one two three four five six in the camera so six memory cards and I want to have it more, <laughs> but at this moment it is okay for me. It's so beautiful. Uh, the great thing to have is also this additional light. I have one more, it is downstairs, so I want to film a separate video about the lights, so it won't be in this video. Uh, this is all my equipment and I this is it for today and i want to say thank you for watching this video and for following me and for supporting me it really means the world to me and i'm the happiest so i want to film the videos more for you and to share with you more so see you in my next video bye